All right, this is fifth grade, module three, lesson eight. We are going to be adding and subtracting fractions involving whole numbers, and um, particularly this time, we're going to be using the number line as our strategy. So for this addition problem, um, we, students might be able to solve this problem practically in their head, but we're going to show how to record this on a number line so that we can uh, keep track of their thoughts. And it's just to develop number sense. Ultimately, students are going to go straight to the algorithm. But the idea would be, okay, we're going to start at zero. And I'm going to draw, I call this an empty number line because I'm not going to make this um, proportional. I'm not going to worry about making everything perfectly proportional. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show them, okay, so we're going to show first a jump of 5, and that's for this 5 right here. And that's going to put us at 5. And now I can jump 2 because of this 2. And I'm going to show that by doing this, and that's going to put us at 7. All right. So now you can see I'm kind of uh, using the commutative property to really take this and 2, uh, 5 plus plus two-fifths plus three-fifths, except I'm not really going to show students this. Um, I'm just going to kind of piece it together. I think students can use logic to understand and follow along. So now it's time to add the two-fifths here. And so the two-fifths, I'm going to probably, between the seven and the eight, I'm going to cut that into five pieces. So there's my fifths. Yeah, fifths. All right, and then to model that two fifths, I'm going to go two fifths. So there's my two fifths. Now, where does that put me? That puts me at seven and two fifths. Now, this last one, this three fifths that I'm going to do right here, three fifths, I'm going to be a little bit more careful here. I'm going to go, okay, one fifth, two fifths, three fifths. So there I've added my three-fifths, and where does that put me? That puts me specific, or perfectly at eight. So there's my answer, and that's not terribly surprising. I think students would be able to see that, well, five plus two is seven, two-fifths plus three-fifths is five-fifths, and that equals eight. But the idea is to use a number line to record our thinking uh, as a necessary developmental step for understanding the algorithm that we're going to be teaching later. So in this problem, uh, it's subtraction. Now I'm actually going to give you two options for this. One, which is what they show in, in the Engage New York teacher materials, and then another one, which is what they use in other countries, particularly Australia and England. All right, so uh, first the Engage New York method. So I'm going to draw my number line, and I'm going to start at 18. And I'm going to go backwards 15. So if I go backwards 15, that's going to put me at 3. All right, so now I'm at 3. And now it says, now I need to go backwards 3 fourths. All right, so I'm going to make an interval from 2 to 3. So this is an interval of 1, right? And I'm going to cut it into fourths. One, two, three, four. So there's my fourths. And now I'm going to go backwards three fourths. One, two, three fourths. So I just went backwards three fourths. So you can see total, I went backwards 15 and three fourths. So that's what this subtraction means. I'm going to go backwards 15 and three fourths. And where does that put me? It puts me right here, which is two and one-fourth. So my answer is two and one-fourth. Now, there is another way to do it, is, which is the exact opposite, um, using an empty number line. So I'm going to start with 18, subtract 15 and three-fourths. Now this time, a different way to do it, this is not part of the Engage New York technique, uh, I'm going to model 15 and 3 fourths on the number line, and I'm going to also model 18 on the number line. And now the idea is to say, 
Well, how much is it from 15 3 fourths all the way up to 18? And so we're going to do that a piece at a time. So we can see that the next whole number up is 16. So to go from 15 and 3 fourths to 16, that's 1 fourth. And then to go from 16 to 18 is two wholes. And that means our subtraction problem, the answer is 2 and 1 fourth. Because to go from 15 and 3 fourths all the way up to 18 means that's a distance of 2 and 1 fourth. So there's two ways to do it, although up here, this is the way Engage New York is having us show it right now. And the last problem for this video. The total length of two ribbons is 13 meters. If one ribbon is 7 and 5 eighths meters long, what is the length of the other ribbon? So we've got two ribbons that have a total length of 13 meters. One of those ribbons, and I'm not worried about being totally um, proportional here, one of those ribbons is 7 and 5 eighths, and this ribbon is a we don't know, and we're supposed to figure that out. So that's our tape diagram, although it doesn't say we're supposed to draw a tape diagram, but this is kind of the classic tape diagram, and it suggests that we need to subtract. So we're going to subtract 13 minus 7 and 5 eighths, all right? And so we're going to, I think I'm going to do this twice. I'm going to do it the Engage New York way, and then I'm going to do it through the, um, the opposite way, which is like using addition. So we're going to start with 13, and now we're going to go backwards 7. So we're going to go backwards 7, and that puts us at 6. And now we need to go backwards 5 eighths, which means my interval, here's my one whole interval right here, and now I'm going to go backwards 5 eighths. So I'm going to cut it up into eighths. There's my eighths. And now I'm going to go backwards 5 eighths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 eighths. So I just went backwards so all told, I went backwards 7 and 5 eighths. So that's what this is right here, 7 and 5 eighths. And that puts us right here, which is 5 and 3 eighths. So that's our answer, is 5 and 3 eighths. But if we wanted to see what this would look like um, using that addition technique, so let's see. Uh, we're going to draw our model. So first off, this is going to be 13 minus, what was it, 7 and 5 eighths. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label 7 and 5 eighths here. I'm going to label 13 here. And the idea is, what do I have to add to 7 and 5 eighths to get all the way up to 13? All right. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is bump it up to the next whole number. So to go from 7 and 5 eighths to 8 means we have to add 3 eighths. And now to go from 8 to 13 means we have to add 5, 5 holes. So to go in total from 7 and 5 eighths all the way to 13 means we need to add 5 and 3 eighths. And so the answer to the question, uh, what is the length of the other ribbon? It is 5 and 3 eighths meters. And that is Grade 5, Module 3, Lesson 8, adding to and subtracting from whole numbers, particularly using that number line as our strategy.